federal government suspend Twitter's operation in Nigeria. The Nigerian government has suspended Twitter operations in Nigeria. This was announced on Friday by Minister of Information and Culture, Alai Mohamed. The federal government has suspended indefinitely the operations of the microblogging and social networking service Twitter in Nigeria. He cited the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence. The minister said the government has also directed the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to immediately commence the process of licensing all OTT and social media operations in Nigeria. Still in the same vein, PDP rejects suspension of Twitter, tells Buhari not to push Nigerians to the wall. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has opposed what it described as unwarranted suspension of the social media platform, Twitter, by the President Muhammad Buhari-led federal government, describing it as a draconian action and a slight towards a fascist regime in our country. PDP, in a statement issued by its National Publicity Secretary, Kola Olobodian, Saturday asserted that the suspension of Twitter is totally condemnable, is barbaric, and a move to muzzle Nigerians, particularly the youths, to prevent them from holding the corrupt, divisive Buhari administration accountable for its atrocities, including human rights violations, patronizing of terrorists, and outright suppressive acts against innocent Nigerians. PDP is appalled that the federal government could exhibit such primitive intolerance and power intoxication because the social media giant demonstrated international best practices in not allowing the Buhari presidency to use Twitter as a platform to propagate and spread the Buhari administration's hatred towards Nigeria. PDP added. The leading opposition party insisted that rather than being a platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence, as claimed by the Minister of Information of, and Culture, Lai Mohammed, Nigerians, particularly the youth, have been using the social media platform largely for activities that promote unity as well as social economic and commercial interactions in our country. The statement parallel reads that the party notes that Mr. Lai Mohammed in her statement failed to cite an example of where Nigerians use Twitter as a platform to promote acts that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence as he claimed. Of course, the failure to give any such instance confirms that the federal government is only out to victimize Nigerians. PDP made it known that Buhari's presidency and the All Progressive Congress APC administration are only afraid of Nigerians on Twitter because of their evil machinations for which they dread the Nigerian youths. Moreover, freedom of speech is firmly guaranteed in the Constitution and the Buhari administration should be ready to face Nigerians over its misrule, he pointed, stating further that in the case of any infringement, Nigerians had adequate instant law to uh, deal with such and not this move to gag the people. The PDP therefore charges President Buhari to end this assault against Nigerians by immediately and unconditionally resigning its decision to ban Twitter, as such amount to pushing our citizens to the wall. After all, it was the same Twitter that provided President Buhari and IPC the platform to campaign in 2015 and 2019. Moreover, it's also on record that President Buhari would not be the first president in the world whose tweet will be deleted, he said, adding that when it happened to former U.S. President Donald Trump, he was not known to have deployed any act coercion 
against Twitter. He then concluded that their party invites President Buhari to hold this international shame by resigning this ugly decision. Nonsense. Now, still on Twitter, um, ban. What Twitter boss Jack said as Buhari suspend Twitter in Nigeria? One of the giants of social media, Twitter, has revealed it is investigating and will provide updates when we know more about the suspension slammed upon it by organization, by the Muhammad Buhari-led administration. Nigeria's Minister of Information and Kosho Al-Haji Lai Mohammed announced the suspension in a statement issued in Abuja on Friday, 4th June. He claimed the suspension was because Twitter was used for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence. However, the microblogging and social networking service said the announcement on Friday was deeply concerning. Uh, that is according to BBC. The company had two days ago removed President Buhari's tweet for going against its community rules, a move that the Nigerian government tagged as being biased and accused the social media platform of a double standard. The latest hit back by the Nigerian government still unclear how or when the suspension would take place, as Twitter was still functioning as, a, as of press time, even as many dashed to App Store to download VPNs that could be used to bypass an eventual shutdown. Has a, uh, this has received serious condemnations from Nigerians. Now, on a review of our stories. Um, uh, the suspension of Twitter is not much of a surprise. Uh, we know how dictators tend to behave. And this is a government that has been trying to be his best to gag the press and to make all Nigerians keep short, despite the atrocities they are committing. You know, this is a very corrupt, incompetent, nepotistic, oppressive, and uh, a government that support terrorism, which they claim to fight. Government with such tendencies will go all out to stop anything um, that is on their way. That is it. Again, we are not surprised. Buhari's bloodletting government hates the international community to know what is happening within the space, within the uh, contraption called Nigeria. We are not surprised. Myanmar's leadership locked out internet, I think so, so as to be able to commit more atrocities against the people. And, uh, they, you know, locking out internet is for the world not to know about what is happening. Buhari's government is not different. The plan to dictate for the media didn't start today. There is really much to worry concerning um, a recently leaked audio where a voice was heard saying there is a plan by Buhari Fulani-led government uh, to shut down completely the social media in the near future while they finalize their planned suppression, subjection of the entire Nigeria to Fulani control. It's likely uh, they are testing the waters. This is an opportunity for them to use Twitter to start the testing, to know the reaction of the people. So the world international community should be put on notice. We are dealing with a government that backs Fulani headsmen to unleash terror on the indigenous people of Nigeria. This is a government that gives amnesty to terrorists. The government that banks bandits kidnapping people all in our forest. The government that gives them protection, legal backing to remain in the forest against uh, the law, the wishes of um, the, uh, the, the states. This is a government that can send a whole battalion to defeat a small group of people over a small unrest in certain part of the country. A complete army division can be emptied to go and destroy people of the south. So, um, in one voice with PDP and uh, others, we say the banning of Twitter is unwarranted, it's unnecessary, and we oppose it. 
the action Buhari embarked upon is a draconian decree, a kind of draconian act. And even PDP is lenient to say the country is sliding, sliding to fascism. It's there already. Buhari's government is barbaric. Buhari wants to continue with his misrule Why Nigerians, especially the youths, remain silent. Even the accusation against Twitter cannot be substantiated. It is nonsense. Again, this is a platform Buhari and his cabal and the APC, the crooks, used very well during the election. And nobody tried to gag Twitter then. The international community should be, keep an eye, they should keep an eye on Nigeria as more is coming. They are testing the waters. We want this union renegotiated. Under one nonsense union, our not um the, the northern a not a man from northern Nigeria, under one nonsense union, will order internet to be shut down in the south. Then why internet is shut down, he imports his people. Foreigners, he's foreigners because he's a foreigner from outside. And they continue the atrocities and they expect no one to report it. They can't come up with any good claim of what uh, Twitter, Twitter violated. It's just mercy. Twitter did not support them for their genocidal threats against the Igbos. And so they had to. Twitter removed it. They, Twitter was even lenient. Twitter would have uh, deleted the account, but Twitter removed it, removed the dangerous tweets. And they, they, they are angry. They are, they are saying Twitter is trying to um, support what is undermining the security of the country. They are the ones causing the trouble. They are the ones that are acting in a way to undermine the national security. And they are, they, they are blaming Twitter. Anyway, viewers would like to know what you think about this story. Please add your comment on the comment section. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Click on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops. Bye for now.